well, well. Was that a surprise? No, that was not a surprise, Croatia. Bravo, hello, and welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nish, and I make reactions here on YouTube. And today we're gonna to be continuing on our Eurovision 2024 series that will be held in the city of Malmo, Sweden on the 7th of May. We have finally got the winner of Croatia's Dora 2024, which has just gone ahead, and they had two semifinals this week on Thursday and Friday. And of course on, well, today on Sunday was the final. I just watched the live show with all of the performances and was this the strongest national selection we've had? Definitely not, but there was some decent songs I think in the mix. I really like Marcella's Gasoline and also Eugen or Ewan's Tishine. I still think that Croatia is putting in the effort in general with the actual styling and the performance of the whole production itself. I mean, we've definitely had some worse national selections, but of course the standout in this whole contest and the obvious winner for everyone pretty much was of course Baby Lasagna, which has just won it. And even before he got this, Croatia has been third in the betting odds in the overall Eurovision Song Contest. So that is saying a lot about this song and it's just amazing considering he wasn't even meant to be in this contest. He was a backup from someone that pulled out. That is just fate. It was meant to be because I genuinely don't think if any other of these songs were to go forward, it will do as good as this song will. Of course, this is speculation. We still haven't seen all of the songs that have come out for Eurovision, but I think this is perfect. I really do. It has all the right elements in it. I watched the performance of the first time in semi-final two on Friday. Like I said, I just watched it now. It was pretty much the same. So I thought it would be better for you to see my first reaction on that day. So without further ado, why don't we get into this reaction and see what Croatia has got to hold for Eurovision 2024. But before we do so, if you would like to see full unedited reactions as well as some exclusive content, I will be uploading all of that over on my members only. So if you click the join button down there, you will get to do that as well as helping support me making these videos for you further. And if you do join and not enjoying the content, you can cancel any time. So no pressure at all. Thank you to all of these beautiful people that have already done so. And if you're new here and love a bit of Eurovision, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here. That is very important. Uh, licking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you want to follow me over on Instagram, it is Nush101. Oh my gosh, she's got the Caria rainbow light. Oh my god, the crowd. Oh my god, the stomp. Okay, hold on. Right, off the get go, serious Caria vibes, even from the lighting to the outfit right now. Very, very similar. Is this an issue? Don't think so. He's actually made the sleeves bigger. Um, and off the get-go, we've got... Was someone washing something in the side? Yeah, there's a lady, like, washing her clothes. Okay, we do have a little bit of the music video, which had a very traditional farm in Croatia in the background. And like, it had that Croatian traditions in there. Um, there's a lot going on on the stage, therefore. <laughs> so it's a lot to digest but I think you've already got your audience's attention with this. I mean, come on. Hey, I'm a big boy now. Ooh, I love the key. Vocals are good. Really low. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, they're doing the river dance. I love that. That was in the music video. I was like, keep that in. Oh, yeah. The choreo. There's no going back. Whoa. Whoa. 
Oh, yeah, I love this. This is so good. I genuinely don't think this could get much better for me. I mean, there's definitely things we could do, but it's very eye-catching. The melody is so pleasant for me, personally. Like, I love how you've got this rocky electronic mashup here. Two of my favorite genres combined, and it is such music to my ears. Croatia's never sent anything like this ever okay let, 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 let three's last year was kind of in that sector but i think this is way more playable and more palatable for a lot of a lot for a lot of people than let three's song last year so that is making me think and that came what 13th place where is this gonna come it's it's gonna be high <laughs> it's gonna be very high Yeah, I'll bet. Let's go on back. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my voice. Whoa! Anxiety attacks. The bags on their head. There's so much going on. Oh, it's coming, the techno bit. Best bit. Okay. Oh my god, this is everything. Like everything. Okay, so when I watched the music video and I was like, please have something a bit Karia esque, I didn't think he was actually gonna do that. I feel like we could have more colors in the lights though. Like I obviously really like how it is now, but I think it needs a little bit more oomph in this bit because it really is meant to like punch you in the face. I mean, the melody is already doing that, but I think, I mean, it's, it's also a little bit dark. I feel like brighten it up with those colors or something. Again, I'm not a stage specialist. I don't really know. If that's done, this is pretty much 100% for me. This part of the song is gonna be that bit where everyone is gonna be going crazy and we're all gonna be doing that with this. What a bop. <laughs> Sin. Oh. oh, I love the like cloths on the drums. He looks good. Whoa. I think he's done it, guys. He's done it. Ooh. Oh, that's a very Karia inspiration again. Look at that shot at the end as well. That is how you end it off. Could this even win Eurovision? <laughs> My only downfall with this song is that people might compare it too much to Karia's entry and that course came second place so it's not a bad thing to compare it to that but are people gonna be like well we've kind of seen this before let's vote for something that is completely new and out of the box i think he definitely could work a little bit more on the vocals but i think in that front of things and that side of things it's pretty much there really don't see anything really wrong in that sense his deep tones especially like they definitely add to the song. The thing that I really do like about this is he has brought the like river dance and the traditional elements in this. You are going to remember this as being a Croatian entry, I think. And you know, I always like it when you have those traditions and the contemporary mix well together. And this song is such a good mesh of those two. But that's why I feel like this will do so well in Eurovision because People do want to see that in the contest and I feel like they're definitely going to be satisfied with this one. They're not going to be bored. They're going to be dancing along to this. They're going to download it too. I mean, I definitely have listened to it a lot over this season. I haven't gotten bored with it. I feel like you're going to fall in love with it after the first play. It doesn't need a couple plays to really get into it. 
And it's also a great performance. So it really is an all rounder here. And this probably will be Croatia's best placement for a very, very long time. I can already feel it. It's definitely qualifying. Yes, it's in the first semi-final of death, but I really don't think this is gonna be a problem with this song. I think, let's look at it. It is unique enough for it to stand out amongst these other strong contenders, I think. So I'm not worried. I really am not. I don't see where this song can go wrong. We do have some time till the contest. As I said, I want a little bit more explosive lights towards the end. And I know there was a lot, maybe it might be an epileptic hazard if there was any more, but I think it could be polished up and just a little bit more for sure. But other than that, love the costumes, love everything about this. And it's gonna be a very, very entertaining performance for a lot of people. And I'm so excited to see this on the stage in Malmo. But of course, that was just what I thought. I'm sure you have a very different opinion to mine. So please let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of Rim Tim Tagidim by Baby Lasagna. I'm gonna go and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.